think we're recording. Alrighty. I'm going to show you a basic formula for a mosaic hat. This is the hat we're going to be making. And I started with a bit of a different kind of band. And I'm going to show you first <coughs> how I start the band. It's kind of a variation on doing a um, foundation single crochet or double crochet. However, anybody who's familiar with Tunisian crochet will recognize that this is the basic way that you do Tunisian crochet. And then you go through and one little Tunisian crochet row is done. Okay, for this headband or band for the hat, I'm going to do a Tunisian knit stitch for this middle one. Only the middle one. I'm going to go into the middle of that and pull up a loop. And then for the end one, you always go under the two loops on the end. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you go back by chaining one. And then yarn over, pull through a loop. Yarn over, pull through a loop. And you just repeat that until you have the number of stitches to make the hat the number of stitches you want. And whether it's 60, 70, 80 stitches or any number in between. Okay? And you just continue that. You join it. And here I just join by going into the top loop into there. I'll sew this up with the yarn that I left for a tail. I'll sew them together at the end to make a match. Okay, and then you take, after that's joined, you're going to take your second yarn, contrast yarn, and you'll be going into wherever you joined, and you'll have to see my other videos for that. And you'll do the second setup row, which is always just doing them in the back loop only. Single crochets all the way around. And that's what I did for this row right here. It's just sing back loop only, single crochets all the way around. Okay. Then the first pattern. Basically this is just a formula. There isn't a... it wouldn't work well with a graph. <laughs> You'd have to have a real long thin graph. This is stitch one and with the main cover you would do a double crochet two rounds below. Okay, And you do that. This is a 10 stitch repeat you could pick any number, eight, six, whatever. Um, you just have to have your hat be a multiple of that many stitches around. So this is a 10 stitch repeat. The hat is 70 stitches around. <coughs> For round two, this is stitch one. Okay, you count over. One, two is behind there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's the tenth one for that. It's going to be the one right before this one. And you're just going to continue with 
the main color always veering off one to the left and the contrast color veering off one to the right. That works really well until you get to the middle one here. And basically the rule is whichever color gets to that middle one first gets it. Okay, so the contrast color got there first and this repetition of the rounds. So then when you do the, this is the row for the contrast color, when you do the next main color row, you're going to just skip this one and go into the next one over and just continue. And visually it's one off but it looks okay. Now up here when they cross again, the main color got there first so the contrast color had to skip one over. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is how to do the decreases because this is a formula rather than a pattern. At any point when you think your hat is long enough and you know maybe only needs an inch or so more in height, you want to start closing it. I've gone around and okay this is This is stitch one for the round. I went into the middle between the two double crochets, or actually these two it would be, and I did an invisible single crochet decrease. I'll show you one back here. I've done it in other videos, but I'll show you again. Okay. Now I don't want to do that decrease right next to this one or right next to your other. So you go over a couple and that, this is the way I do my single crochet decrease. There. And then I just go into the next ones. Oops. And I want to do, still I'm going one to the right. There. And the same rules apply as in my other videos for joining. You go under the two loops, pull your discontinued yarn way over to the right, bring up the other color. Pull that up and through the middle of the loop. Okay, give it a slight tug. Discontinued yarn just to neaten up the little stitch there. Then you bring it all the way back over that yarn. Now you're going to go down into the middle of that loop, down into the stitch. Pull up a loop, bring it through both. It's a little sloppy, so just pull on this to snug it up, not too tight, just so it looks neat. And then finish your no chain single crochet. Okay, now we're still moving one over. I'm going to follow the pattern as long as we can want to get over. We don't want to do it here be in these two because in the next round we're going to. So we want to go this way and do okay. and you just continue on around. I will see if I can pause this video and come back. <laughs> 